love, respect, pride, dedication. These are certainly values that we want all of our children to learn as they grow. In East St. Louis, Illinois, young people don't get enough opportunities to learn what these words mean. There is one man, however, who's been working to teach these values to the city's young people for almost 40 years. Sylvester Sunshine Lee, a native of East St. Louis, created an African dance and drumming program in 1978 and has taught hundreds of children traditional African culture all at no cost to the students. His dance company has toured extensively and Lee has become a cultural ambassador for his hometown. This man has truly earned his nickname Sunshine by brightening the lives of several generations of area students and he is still working to make his community a better place to live. Sylvester Sunshine Lee has worked tirelessly to advance the arts in East St. Louis and give residents a chance to participate in numerous cultural activities. He was a student of the great African dancer Catherine Dunham, who gave him his name Sunshine because of his ability to keep a positive attitude towards his fellow dancers and drummers. After becoming a master drummer, Lee decided it was time to make a more lasting commitment, and he formed his own dance company focusing on children. Over the years, they've given hundreds of performances, locally, around the country, and even overseas. Their most recent trip was to Israel, where they swam in the Dead Sea, and Sunshine was baptized in the River Jordan. Through his company, Sunshine has helped large numbers of young people discover their African heritage and help them to express themselves artistically through dancing and drumming. Sunshine grew up in a large family and this shaped his views as a teacher. The young people in his company are not just individual performers, they are part of an extended family and Sunshine teaches them much more than just the performing arts. Always teach love, respect, pride and dedication. Right now this day I set my children down and I give them those four words, love, respect, pride, and dedication. And those, I make them study that. And so they would be prideful young boys and girls once again. He teach us the way of life, not just the way of life. He teach us the attitude of having a classroom. That African dance will teach you like mathematics. One plus one is two. He teach you respect. Some of the kids that don't have fathers in the household, he teach them how to come up like young men. For the women that have mothers that might be out working all day and different things, he give us places to go. We learn how to sew. We learn how to make our own costume. We learn how to together as a group. Kids get together and cook, do laundry, different things that he taught us household things as well as African dancing. You know, he can relate to them because he's been there and experienced that. He's taught their mother, their grandmother, so he can relate to them from a family aspect of it, not just as a teacher. Sunshine is a teacher that is uh, thorough, he's patient, and he's encouraging. And he has a tremendous spirit and kindness and good works about him. And he has a way of transmitting that to not only the children, but grown-ups, men, women, senior citizens. He, he, he has a God-given gift. I really believe that. You know, make sure they have a good time. He also teaches them how to, how to hold themselves as a person. So like how we act in dance class, he expects us to act at school, at church, you know, out in public, he teach you how to act. He give you skills to use on life. And what, is, what, what, what does sunshine do? Sunshine make things grow. Sunshine make things flourish and, and mature and give them peace. He has a, a way of reaching the children's spirit. In 2012, Sunshine took possession of the Farmer Morrison Grade School and ever since has been operating it as a Sunshine Cultural Arts Center. The center houses a food pantry, dance studios, a computer lab, classrooms, a library, a fitness center, and a gymnasium. Many public events have been held there, including funerals, celebrations, and an annual arts ball. 
An outdoor performance space is currently being created on the center's property that will include a full-sized African village built out of bamboo. It is clear to anyone that knows him that Sunshine loves his hometown and is devoted to making it a better place to live and work. He helped spearhead an anti-violence campaign and established a midnight basketball program to provide alternative recreational activities to teenagers. In 2016, in recognition of these efforts, Sunshine was awarded the Ford Freedom Unsung Hero Award, a national campaign honoring the outstanding achievements of ordinary people performing extraordinary work in the African American community. They honored his work to bring an arts curriculum to his community and to bring positive changes to the lives of so many people. Sylvester Sunshine Lee is a true hometown hero. He's become a teacher, a role model, father figure, and artistic director of a company that teaches more than just African culture. Sunshine has devoted his life to teaching healthy values, spreading traditional culture, and offering a positive representation of the city of East St. Louis. And we're in a good position right now. And I say to others, we're in a good position because the last will become first, and the first will become last. And so here we are, East St. Louis product, and we're not going nowhere.